Describe how the cells in xylem tissue are adapted for their function. They are hollow and empty, so water containing dissolved mineral ions can easily flow through them. There are dead cells no condensed, so water can flow through them too easily. The walls contain lignin, which is very strong to provide support. Do the results support the student's hypothesis? Explain the answer. Yes, the mean rate per minute of movements of the mat of the manifolds is much higher in moving air than still air. This means that the shoot was taking up water faster in the moving air. The rate at which it takes up water is determined by the rate at which transpiration is taking place within the leaf. Evaluate the student's method. For example, did the student control all the important variables? Did his method really measure what he thought he was? Measure. It's likely that the temperature was not controlled. It could have been warmer or colder in the moving air than in the still air. It's possible that light intensity was not controlled. The student was actually measuring the rate at which water was taken up rather than the rate at which it was lost. But we can assume that they are very similar to each other, if not identical. In spring and summer in Switzerland, the leaf of pink trees for the synthesis. That is the reason why palm tree photosynthesize in spring and summer in Switzerland, but not in winter. There is plenty of light in summer, but not enough in winter. Liquid water may be in the short sun. Would you expect the leaf to be... Liquid water may be in short supply. Would you expect the leaf to be sources or things in spring and summer? It's very nice. If a source of spring and summer, they will photosynthesize and produce glucose that will be converted to sucrose in the leaf. Sucrose will be transported to other parts of the plant. When you expect the leaf to become sources of things in the winter, spring or summer, they are things in winter. They cannot photosynthesize, so sucrose are transported upwards from roots that is the source to the leaf to provide them with nutrients and energy. Describe changes in the amount of starch in the pine tree leaf from spring until autumn. Concentration of starch in leaf increased slightly by 0.6% of the dry mass between spring and summer, which a peak of 15.6% of dry mass. It then falls to only 4.9% of dry mass in the autumn. Describe the changes in the amount of starch in the pine tree roots from spring until autumn. The concentration of starch in roots increases from 2.6% to 3.1% of dry mass. Within spring and summer, it then continues to increase to reach 4.1% of dry mass by autumn. Suggest reasons for the changes described in your answer to 15 and 16. In spring and summer, they make more glucose than they need by photosynthesis and store some of them as starch. In autumn, they are photosynthesizing much less and may be using out the starch stores. Also, some of the sugars will have been transported to other parts of the plant, such as roots for storage. This thing can explain the increase in starch content of the root. Describe and explain the results shown in the table. Removing the buds has no effect on the amount of starch in the leaf. This is because removing the buds did not affect the rate at which the leaf could photosynthesize. Removing the leaf reduced the amount of starch in the buds from 7.1% to 6.5% dry mass. This is going because there was less sugar being made. Now that the leaf has been removed, so there was less sucrose to transport to the buds to turn it into starch.